Imagine you were a stone block in Minecraft, just sitting there in a cave, minding your own business. When all of a sudden, a couple of miners from a nearby village come over and mine up all of your rock friends. You would want to get revenge, right? But you're just a rock. What are you going to do about it? Well, for the next 100 days, I'm going to become a rock in Minecraft and get revenge on the three miners who took out my stone friends. On day one, I spawned in as a pebble. But as you can see, my tiny pebble only has five hearts of HP. And that's a huge problem, seeing as there's three miners in front of me right now that are gonna try and kill me. In fact, they can start trying to attack me the second I leave this rock I'm standing on. But like usual, I have a special rock upgrade menu. And on this menu, I can get more hearts, get really cool attacks, like a meteor shower, or even this one here that's gonna let me fly as a rock. But uh, we'll worry about those in a sec. First things first, we gotta work to get away from these guys. And I think the best way to do that is to actually unlock our first combat ability, which is called Amethyst Shards. This one is super easy to unlock, so we're gonna try to unlock it while we run away. The first quest is literally just to break 10 blocks, so I'm just gonna run back into these trees and start breaking leaves here we go three two one and go 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 get that pebble okay. after get it. that little rock now we fit in one high gap so it's gonna be really easy for us to hide go in here one two three we're starting to break leaves here we go five six seven oh i hear him over here oh go pebble. this way oh i got hit i got hit down here down here down here quick under this one okay we've already moved he's so blocks. small nine where is he i really lost him ten i actually i don't know he's so he tiny. went in these trees now we just gonna spend 20 seconds underwater oh there's literally water right here oh my goodness let's see if we can get away with it stay here for 20 seconds nine this is the tiniest pool of water oh i see him he's in the water oh i was afraid oh, of that 16 18 19 get over here 20 okay that's second quest done go 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 now we just have to kill a horse we gotta find a horse and we gotta get some weapons here it's not gonna be easy to kill a horse so let's work on getting some wood and get a wooden sword real quick you're not gonna get away from us pebble we gotta find a tree we gotta find a tree that we can hide underneath here we go here's a clustery area this is gonna be a good spot right here here we go Oh, oh, no. Okay, we got some wood. We got some wood. Oh, we do not want to go down that cave. This way, this way, this way. Dive. Okay, let's dive deep underwater. Let's dive deep underwater. Let's grab some oak logs, turn them into planks. He's in the water. Make a crafting table. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Hide under here for a sec. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our crafting table right there. We're good. Find that pebble. Okay, now let's quickly make ourselves a wooden sword. There we go. A stick. There we go. Okay, we got that. Get our crafting table back. Now we just gotta find a horse. Okay, they're going into the jungle, it looks like. I'm gonna loop back this way and go kill a horse. We just gotta find a horse. But guys, he's across the river! Where? Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, they saw me, they saw me, they saw me. Go, 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 go. We gotta find a horse. We just need to find a horse. Okay, come on. Okay, they can spawn in the acacia by <gasps> right here. Literally right next to us. We got a horse. Die, die, die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, he's definitely dead. He took the fall damage. Now we can unlock the amethyst shards. Okay, these should be a massive upgrade on our attack. Let's jump here. There he is in the jungle. Where? Oh. I see him. Okay, let's try this out. I should. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. It automatically hits. I don't even have to Ow. aim it. Look. Ow, dude. Ow. Oh, wait. I ran out of energy. Oh, it has a limited energy. No. We killed one. We're going to mine you. There's one below me. One below me. I'm going to okay. get you, Rock. Okay, I oh. can shoot it up and around the corner. Look at this. Oh, it hurts. oh. oh. there's a third. There's what? a third. No, what is that? Bro, okay, what? here we go. Let's just throw another one. Oh, it didn't hit. It didn't hit. We got to throw it around the tree to the side. Ready? Easy. Oh! What? That is so ah! cool. Oh my, we can curve this attack around trees. But anyway, let's keep going. We need to find a place to build our base. Let's get going before the miners catch us. After getting away from the miners, I began building a base fitting for a rock, which means I live in a cave, but it's a pretty cave, or I think so at least. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the base. Okay, so welcome to the rock base. Uh, pebble base? Anyway, it's literally right over here hidden behind this tree. And if we go inside, you're gonna see it. This base is actually kind of cool looking. As you come down, I actually built a little main entrance area where I put this fake tree. And then from here, there's two directions we can go. But we have all our chests and furnaces and stuff like that. And then if we go over here and go down this little staircase down here, we simply get to my bed. But okay, with this basic base officially completed, it's time to keep upgrading our pebble. Now, we've already finished our first combat ability, Amethyst Shards. So let's instead work on our first utility ability called Mineral Shards. Basically, I can eat rocks. Like, yeah, that's, that's literally it. But eating rocks does make me pretty OP, so we'll take it. Now, all we need to actually unlock this ability is some flint, some glowing ink sacks, and whatever the last item is. I can't remember for this line. So let's start by going into a cave and getting some glowing ink sacks. Okay, I finally found some glowing ink boys. They're literally right down here. They're mine. Come here, glowing ink boys. Wait, can I? I have infinite water breathing? Wait, is this because I'm a rock? Well, I guess rocks can breathe underwater. The more you know. But uh, we still need three more glowing ink sacks. Oh, well, I guess there's more glow scope. We'll just get them here. I should honestly probably grab the diamonds while I'm here. I don't know why I didn't grab those before. Okay, cool. We officially got all the glowing ink sacks that we needed underwater. So now just collect these diamonds that are down here, and then we'll head back to the surface. 
Okay, so now that we have the glowing ink sacks, all we need to do is get some flint and some rotten flesh. And if I remember correctly, there's literally some gravel right up there that I should be able to break, but it's really not that much gravel. So let's actually go find a bigger pool of gravel. I'm probably gonna need to break a lot. Actually, what am I doing? I need to make a shovel. So let's just take two sticks, take one of our iron ingots, and then we got ourselves an iron shovel. And now let's just grab a bunch of this gravel right here so we can get some flint. And there we go, that's five flint. So now all we need left is that rotten flesh, which means going back down into the caves and taking on some zombozos. Okay, we did it. We have all the rotten flesh we need. So now let's get out of this cave before I die with only five HP. So let's go and let's go here and then let's unlock mineral shards, which is this raw gold you see in my inventory here called mineral boost. So let me just get rid of it go away. Now if I eat this, you're gonna see I get resistance, regeneration, and what you can't see, or really just probably didn't notice, is that ugly gray bar right above my hunger bar. And that bar there is called my mineral bar. If I eat this gold in my hand, that mineral bar regenerates, meaning I can use more of my abilities later on. But uh, for right now, it doesn't have a major effect. So we're not gonna worry about it too much. Because right now, that food is really just good for healing when we're in a pinch. Okay, so with our new gold ore that we can eat in our inventory, we are officially done with all of our tier one upgrades. But uh, we're still a pebble with five hearts of HP. So instead, let's become a rock with 10 hearts of HP. Now to turn into a rock, I need 64 stone, 16 clay, and eight brown dye. So let's start by grabbing the eight brown dye since that's probably gonna be the easiest of all those items. All we need to do is head over to the jungle that you can see over there in the distance and grab some cocoa beans for the brown dye. Okay, we only need eight brown dye, so let's just break that one. We'll break this one. That's four cocoa beans. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be it. Ready? There we go. Eight cocoa beans, which is eight brown dye. <gasps> oh my God, look what I just saw. I'm in the jungle right now. Look at this. Literally, look at that. My shield. No, my shield. Oh, they see me. I see a name tag up there. Dude, he's up there. He's up there. Oh! This dumb shield glitch. I stand out like a sore thumb because shields float above my head. That definitely gave me away. I shouldn't have put the shield on. We're gonna have to shoot them with the amethyst. Okay, there's one, two, three. One's coming up. That sound meant we were out of energy. Oh, we're in trouble. We're gonna have to run. Go, 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 go. Into the woods, into the woods. I'm not gonna win a 3v1 being out of energy. Oh, we're gonna have to jump. We're gonna have to jump. Go, go. Okay, did they see that? They're not seeing me in the water? He jumped. Uh, nope, they saw me. Oh, oh no. One died. One just died. One just died. Go, tiny pebble. Go, swim. I have a good way to lose him here. I can breathe underwater infinitely. This is getting close to my base, so I don't wanna reveal it too close. So we're gonna go across the river. They forgot their boats. This is good. This is good. This is good. I think we can lose him here. I think we can definitely lose him here. I'm just gonna play a little game of dance around the tree. I'm gonna have to give him a distraction. I don't want him going that way. That leads to my base. He has no idea where it came from. That's what we want. Oh, they see me now. They see me now. Okay, now that they saw me, that's what exactly what we need to happen. Now they know we're in this direction, which should make them not go towards our base and should keep our base alive. Now we are just gonna do a giant loop and get the heck out of here. Let's just go to this pillager tower. We're gonna loop all the way back around. And hopefully this leads us to safety. Hope they don't see me. No, no, go away. You're gonna give me away. Ah. Oh, they're coming over. No, 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 no. He gave me away. He literally gave me away. We need to go. We need to go. We need to stop shooting me. Okay, no, quick. Go back down here. Swim back across the river. And now I think we're going to be able to get home. This is where we definitely lose them. Watch it. I don't see him coming over the hill. Well, well, well. What do we got here? I think we already lost them. I think we're gone. We lost them. Okay, so we got the brown dye items we're going to need, but uh, kind of almost died in the process. Thank goodness I'm a tiny pebble. So it's really hard to see me right now. But once we do this upgrade into a rock, I don't think I'm going to be hard to see anymore. So we've got to be careful. Now, you're also going to notice I built a small wooden floor here. And that's literally just so when I'm talking to you like this, you can actually see me because uh, when I'm on stone, I'm just really hard to see. But anyway, we still got to become a rock. So we'll simply turn our cocoa beans into brown dye, completing that quest. And now we still need to go get a bunch of stone and a bunch of clay. Now, luckily, we breathe underwater forever. So getting the clay is actually going to be wicked easy to do. Here we go, clay. Okay, so in total, we got 44 clay balls from that. To turn each of these into that to get clay blocked, which means I don't have enough blocks to become a rock. Back to the river. Okay, what about now? We just got a bunch more. That's definitely enough. We have way more than enough clay now. And now we just need 64 stone, which we don't even have to mind. We can literally just go into our chests over here, grab some cobblestone, and throw inside of our furnace. Now we wait. Okay, now let's just grab all the stone that's currently done, which should be more than enough. It is not more than enough. I was wrong. More waiting. Okay, now we have all the stone we need. And now we say goodbye to our tiny pebble with a sword. And hello to the rock. Look how happy he is. He's such a happy, tiny rock. But as you can see, that's not all. Because he also has 10 hearts of HP, speed one, strength one, and jump boost two. So I can now jump super high. And my personal favorite part is that I'm still one block tall, so I still fit in one high gap. Okay, it's day 13, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of weak. I literally only have the first combat ability unlocked, and it's time for that to change. Because obviously the only attack I have is this amethyst one right now, and it's really not that strong. So we need to get another attack. And the next attack we can unlock is called rock wave. And I 
have absolutely no idea what it does. So let's just work on unlocking it, which we can do by riding a llama using a name tag on an entity and killing two players with our amethyst shards. So let's start with the fun part of this first. So let's simply go find a llama and let's become best friends. Are llamas rare or something? I thought they were supposed to be common, especially because I live near a savanna biome and that's where they spawn. Llamas, I found them. Yes. Oh, come here, llamas. You guys are done for. Wait, why did I kill that llama? It said to ride a llama. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Okay, I rode a llama. And now we can go ahead and get out of here because we still have two more quests to do. Also, am I the only one that finds this rock really creepy? Like, he's just a little too happy. Hello. Okay, so I don't have a name tag to actually finish up the second quest. And I also don't know where the miner's base is. But I feel like it's safer just to go get the name tag. So that's what I'm going to do. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed to happen right here. Found an abandoned mine shaft. Now, we just have to find ourselves a chest in here somewhere. Okay, we got our first minecart chest. And then, oh, yeah, name tag. It's literally what we needed. I was going to say nothing, but it's right there. There's another one literally right here. And it does not have a name tag. So actually, good thing we checked that other one first. And now we just have to name something. But to do that, we're going to need an anvil, which requires us to make ourselves three iron blocks. So we take three iron blocks, put them on top, put a few more ingots below, and we get ourselves the anvil we need. So we'll just break a hole in our wall, put it right there. And we rename it to something like Barnaby Bumblefoot. And now we simply go lure some poor unsuspecting mob to my base where he's going to be my best friend forever. We just got to find one though. All right, we're almost there. Come on, little guy. Let's go here. This way, little chicken. Come on. Climb the tree. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. Okay, let's go over here. Shut the door for you. Come on, get in. I need you to get in. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There we go. He's in. And now we name you and boom, Barnaby Bumblefoot. Okay, let's just quickly cover him in some glass. And now I have my first best friend. Okay, so now that we finished the second quest of using the name tag, there's only one quest left to go, which requires us to find the miners because uh, I haven't seen them in a little while. But since I need to finish my quest, we gotta go find their base. So let's get searching. Now I'm guessing because I bumped into them over this way that their base has to be somewhere in this direction. I could definitely be wrong on that, but I'm hoping I'm not. Okay, I was so wrong on that. Their base literally was in the opposite direction. So I wasted a whole day searching in an area where they weren't even close to. But by day 22, I had finally found them. There's a bridge right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's literally a bridge right there. I see a name. I see a nameplate right next to it. Yeah, yeah, they're right there. Look at them. This is definitely their base. And I bet you that water waterfall goes into their base. Let's get into that waterfall. Now let's swim up the waterfall and let's get into their base. Now we need to get two kills with our amethyst shard. So here we go. We'll get in here. We can just... Oh! Yeah. Oh, it's a rock! Oh! Oh, he found me. He found me. Oh, gotta go this way. Oh! We can jump higher than We can jump two blocks high. I got hit with a bow. She's low. She's low. No! Nice. She's dead. That's one down. Oh, he's on me. Oh, God! Oh, no! Okay, that's fall damage. There we go. Need our mineral boost. Whoop, jump over him. Jump over him. We gotta eat mineral. Oh, he's above. One just died. Okay, we hit her back. Ow, ow. One more hit and she's done. One more hit and she's done. Or not. Oh, that hurts. Get over this. Get over this. Ooh. Yes, she's dead. We got her twice. We got her twice. Let's go this way into the forest. Now let's go and let's unlock our new combat ability, Rock Wave. Now let's try it out. Here we go. As they get close to us, we're gonna try this. Here we go. Oh, he got an upgrade. He got an upgrade. What is this? That was so cool, though. Okay, hold on. Where'd they go? Let's go up here. Climb this tree. I got it. Go this way. Jump up here. Okay, this is a good opening. This is a good opening. Here we go. Ready? Oh, it sent him flying. He's done. Oh. No, please. Oh, nice. Oh, I heard a sound. I heard a trap door. Their base is going to be right here. I found their beds. Look at this. Ow. How can he hit me? Oh, boom, 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 boom. we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, they're right behind us. We're in trouble. I got an idea. Go back this way and... No, dude. We killed one. Keep running. Kill her. We got her. She's low. She's low. One's dead. He's done. He's done. He's done. Nice. Done. And. Oh, nice. Gone. Yes. Okay. Go, go. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. The rock lives. Okay, no joke. Our new ability is really cool. I mean, come on. That looks so awesome. So now that we have that, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in battles. Because, I mean, fighting with this is absolutely terrifying. But even with that complete, we still have one more tier 2 upgrade to go. And that is Rock Detection. Which is a really strong ability that actually does, like, two things. And we'll show you what those two things are once we get the ability. But for now, let's just work on unlocking it. We just need to get one Honeycomb 30 eggs and 15 Echo Shards. Not Echo Shards. I hate getting Echo Shards. And because I hate Echo Shards so much, we're going to start by getting the honeycomb. Let's just go over here into our chest real quick and let's grab our shears. And now we just have to go find ourselves a level five beehive, use our shears on it, and we'll have ourselves some honeycomb. Okay, I finally.
finally found one. It literally took forever, but this here is a level five hive. You can tell because it has the yellow honey. And if I right click it, I should get honeycomb. See, we got some. And now we made the bees angry. Okay, cool. Now we don't have to kill the bees. And we've got tons of beeswax to show for it. Okay, maybe not tons, but we got three. And it's called honeycomb, not beeswax. Rye guy, you dummy. Everyone call me a dummy in the comments. Okay, so I figured out a glitch this whole time. I've been wondering why my rock doesn't really walk. He just kind of stiffly moves. And it turns out that when I turn my shader pack off, his animations come back. His eyes bobble around and he walks around all cute like this. So we're going to play without shaders for a sec until we unlock the next rock. But anyway, we have to keep working on unlocking rock detection, which means either getting 30 eggs or getting a bunch of echo shards. And I hate getting echo shards, so I literally refuse to do it. Now we just need to go get those eggs. Die, chicken. Wait, why did I kill those chickens? I'm just trying to collect eggs, which we've only found one of so far. Okay, I was waiting for more eggs, but I literally just saw the hunters in the distance. They walked right around this hill, and they're heading straight for my base. Wait, do they know where my base is? Are they going to my base? Yeah, they are. I just saw their names. They're definitely at the base. They're breaking. Dude, they're not going to kill. No! What? No! He's got to come back, nice. right? Oh, wait. Bro, he has a chicken. Yeah, watch oh, this. oh watch I, this. See, I see his name. Barnaby Bumblefoot? More like Barnaby Deadfoot. Oh, oh. Ow! Barnaby! They just killed Barnaby. They killed Barnaby. That was so uncalled for. What? That's a sledgehammer. I'm gonna smash you, rock. They have a sledgehammer that's literally meant for fighting a rock. Oh, it gives me slowness. Oh, God. Use your shield next time. Okay, we're gonna bait him up this mountain to launch him back off. He's going up, he's going up. Here we go. How did that not get him? Thank God he can't hit me for anything. I'm too fast. Oh, never mind. He hit me. Whoop, gotta go. Go back up here. Bonk. Oh, he fell. Oh! Okay, quick, down here, down here, down here. I did not expect him to do that. I can keep regenerating. We can keep regenerating. We're fine. We got him. We got him with that attack. Oh my gosh, what is that ability? Okay, we failed to launch him off the mountain, but I guess at least he's dead. Okay, I gotta check the base. I don't think they got actually inside the base there. So, uh, they definitely filled the entrances full of lava. They killed Barnaby in this pit. So everything we need for a base is technically still here, but it's really risky to stay here because they know where I live. So either way, we're gonna have to pack up this base and move to a new one, but at least we didn't lose our stuff. After our base was discovered, I had to obviously move, and this time I chose somewhere I don't think the miners are gonna be able to find us because who's gonna expect a rock to to live underwater. If you've played Pokemon, you know rocks and water do not mix. So I'm hoping with that logic in mind, this base won't be found. Oh, and uh, I also made a chicken farm to get a bunch of eggs, but uh, you'll see that in a sec. Okay, so welcome your face back to the rock base. Since the rock could literally breathe infinitely underwater, I felt like building the base underneath here was the best idea. And you can see right over here where the glowstone is, that's where the base is located. So we just swim down right here and we enter this room. And then we simply keep walking into the base where we have our chicken farm, our enchanter, our nether portal, and you know, basic survival stuff and then my favorite smelting room i've ever built i literally have infinite lava look at this this is crazy and now smelting just got a million times easier but that's not all because this chicken farm right here produces a ton of eggs that automatically get sent and transported over here into this chest and we needed 30 eggs just to get rock detection which i'm done with so we'll just grab the 30 eggs we need and now there's literally only one more quest we have to complete and it's my least favorite getting echo shards which means we're heading to an ancient city so let's get going no way i was in this abandoned mine shaft and look at this we're in an ancient city. That's crazy. Come on. Yes. Okay, we're in. Now we just gotta get echo shards. Sneak 100. Nice. There's a chest right in front of us. Okay, there's a catalyst there, but I don't see a shrieker. I think we might be good on this one. Let's just try it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Nice. Oh my god. Unbreaking three mending pants and three echo shards. That didn't set off anything crazy. Okay, there's a chest right in front of us. Here's another one. Three more echo shards in that and some XP bottles. Okay, let's keep looking around. Oh, I did not mean to set that shrieker off. Two god apples, no echo shards, and bane of arthropods. And other side. Dear editors, please do me a favor and play other side. Last Last time I asked you to, you started a war in the comments and played cat. What are you gonna play this time, dog? Yes! 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 Water? I've never seen water in an ancient city. Wait, what is this? What is this room? Ooh, we got a silence armor trim template. I've never found one of those before. But again, no echo shards. And we need to get 15 of them. This is not looking promising. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, this is like the last two chests in here that I haven't checked. No echo shards and no echo shards. There is literally no more echo shards in this ancient city at all. We've looted every chest. So, uh, I guess let's go find another ancient city. From mountain to mountain, hoping to find an ancient city underneath. Which I would find on day 38. No way. The ancient city, we found one. That was pretty quick, actually, for a second ancient city. This should definitely have the rest of the echo shards. Okay, let's check these two. Come on. Echo shard, echo shard, echo shard. Nothing. 
Echo shard, echo shard. Echo shard. Three. We got three. We got three. We got three. Hey, we just need three more. Go, little man. Go. Yep, that's setting one off. That's setting one off. Go. Check it. Nothing. Get out of there. That's a warden. 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 Why? Why did he spawn? That was only like two or three that went off. Okay, I'm gonna work to get away from him. I don't even want to deal with that. Now let's just look for some other chests. We only need three more echo shards and we're done. Check this one out. Oh, two. Are you kidding me? Two. We have four god apples. Nice. This one won't set off anything. I don't think. I was wrong. We got the last echo shard we needed though. Go to that water. We can get out of here. I literally can't see a thing. <gasps> yes, I can see. Yes, we have everything we need to get rock detection. But uh, first things first, let's just get home in one piece. Okay, so let's unlock that new ability. And we'll get rock detection. And now you'll see we have a rock with a wireless signal coming out of it. Okay, so let's use rock detection and click it. And the nearest geologist is 189 blocks away. That's actually kind of close. Wait, what? So yeah, basically what that rock did is it told me that one of the miners is nearby. So if I right click it again, let's see if we get closer. 206, so it got farther away. So then if we go over here, let's see if we can make that number smaller. It is, it's getting smaller. So that means they're somewhere in this direction. But that's not the only thing this ability does because I also get a brand new crafting recipe that's really busted. So if I take four cobblestone like this and put it in a square, you're gonna see I get this thing called a geode. And then we can throw that geode at a wall and you're gonna see it breaks and random items come out so we can throw it there we get gold there's some diamonds there's some copper some more diamonds some more copper you get the idea i get a bunch of stuff including two netherite scrap now i have a bunch of cobblestone we can go through so let's turn all of this into geodes and let's throw all of it okay i got a lot of geodes let's get to work <laughs> Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness. 59 netherite scrap. 64 diamonds. Oh my goodness, this is so broken. Okay, let's grab some of our lava buckets and let's get some of this stuff smelting like the raw gold. And now if we just take four gold ingots and combine it with four of the netherite scraps we got, we get ourselves a netherite ingot. And now we just need a netherite upgrade and we can make ourselves netherite swords and armor. This is insane. But anyway, but we'll work on getting the netherite in a bit because I kind of want to work on the next combat ability, volcanic rock. I'm guessing I'm basically going to turn into a volcano. And it's actually really not that hard to do. First things first, we have to get the is it a balloon advancement, which means to look at a gas through a spyglass. Then we have to kill 10 polar bears. And finally, a bunch of people with rock waves. So let's start by getting is it a balloon. Now we need a spyglass to finish this advancement up, which is just two copper and one amethyst. Now luckily for me, we just started smelting a bunch of copper and we luckily have an amethyst shard left over from the ancient city. So we just combine the two copper with the one amethyst and bada bing bada boom, we got a spyglass. Now we just go to the nether real quick and now we just gotta go find ourselves a gas. Okay, I don't see any gas nearby. So I guess we'll just keep exploring the nether for now until we find one. There's the gas. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, we just gotta look at him through this thing. Here we go. Boom. Is it a balloon? We got it. That gas was hard to find, surprisingly. But whatever, we found it. Time to go home. Okay, next we just have to kill 10 polar bears. Yay! Now I haven't found any ice biomes yet, so we're actually gonna have to look for that. So let's go see if we can find some ice. Okay, I found one polar... Oh, wait, two polar bears? Two polar bears. Please don't kill me. Okay, two down, eight more to go. Is there any over here? Nope. Okay, let's go check out the rest of this ice biome then and see if we can find any more. Okay, and there we go. We officially took out all the polar bears needed. And now we just need to kill four players with our rock wave ability. Okay, let's go find them. So if I use rock detection, we can see we're currently 156 blocks away. And if I keep going in this direction and use it again, We'll see that they're 144 blocks away, meaning they're definitely still at their first base, which really isn't too far from here. So let's just keep heading over that way and let's go get a sneak attack on them. Okay, their base is right here. Let's use it. Their names are literally right there. Oh my God. Oh, if I use it when they're close, they start glowing red. That totally gave away that I'm here. Okay, ready? Watch this. Watch this. Ow, ow, oh, wait, something's shooting at me. Okay, let's get her ready. We got to get her with this ability here. Here we go. Nice, we got one kill. Oh, it's a rock. Oh. Nice, he's low. Let's go this way. He fell, he fell. He's got to be low. I'm going to go for him. He's got a crossbow. He's got a crossbow. Let's just go this way. Go this way. Up here, up here, up here, up here. Shield. Ah. He's done. That's two. Oh, he clamped. Oh. She's got to be low. She's running. She's running. She's running. One dead. One more kill is all we need. Eat some food. Oh, that hurts. Okay, quick. This way. Go this way. And here we go. Ready? Nice. She's low. We missed it. We missed it. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Quick. In their bedroom. Shut that. Dig through the wall. He's dead me. One's dead. He's dead. Two down. They're back in the bedroom. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We, get, we can get three. Yes, we got that four. That's all of them we need to go. Okay, we can unlock the new combat ability. We got to try this out. Go around the tree. Back down here. This way. In here. We're back in the bedroom. Let's go back in here. Oh my God, tunnel this way. Okay, we can unlock it. Let's unlock the new ability, Volcanic Rock. And now let's try it. Let's do it near where all their chests are. Because I think it might destroy their whole base. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it. Krakatoa! Yep, I would say that's a volcanic eruption, all right. Oh my God, what was that? He destroyed her base. My God. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Down here. This one's down, one's down, one's down, one's down, one's down. Woo! Oh boy, goodbye. Oh, he's right here. He's on me. I'm on it. What? No! 
Alright, let's jump down here into the water. One's down here. Nice, he's dead. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here with a new attack. This is insane. Okay, well, that went great. Like, did you see their base go absolutely? But now that we've unlocked that really OP ability, let's go try it somewhere safe. So basically, this ability works like this. I stand anywhere and I cause a volcanic eruption. And if you look at it, I basically created a mini volcano right below me. And then I can simply jump to safety right over here, and we're good to go. Also, with that ability, I'm immune to lava and fire, so that's cool too. So yeah, now that we can create volcanoes on the ground, we're really broken. But we still have two more tier 3 upgrades to go. We have Moonrock Flight, which should give us the ability to fly, or we could become a boulder and get 20 hearts of HP. But since I absolutely destroyed last fight... Let's start by gaining flight. Now to unlock this, I just need to get 20 prismarine shards, 20 warp fungus, and two saddles. And since warp fungus is super easy to get, let's head into the nether and let's get that first. And we literally spawn in the right biome, of course, which makes life super easy. Back to grabbing warp fungus. And there we go. There's the 20 warp fungus we need. So next to the list of things is either 20 prismarine shards or two saddles, both which require us to look around. But I do find the prismarine shards to be a little more interesting. So let's start by getting those. Okay, luckily getting prismarine shards is really easy. Like all we need is a bunch of sugar cane and sand. And then we can get a water monument map that will lead us to the prismarine shards. So let's start with the fun part, collecting a bunch of sugar cane. Okay, there we go. We got all the sugar cane we need. And now we just need to grab a bunch of sand. So uh, let's just kill this skeleton real quick. And I'll just start digging a bunch of sand until we have about a stack. Wait, why am I digging this by hand? Can't I just do this? Okay, no, that really just seemed to set everything on fire, but it didn't really seem to spawn any sands. Okay, let's just grab the rest then. Okay, there we go, a stack of sand. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this sand and chuck it inside of our furnaces to start smelting. Now we wait for that glass to finish. Let's turn all of our sugar cane into some paper. Then we'll just take some iron ingots and make ourselves a couple of compasses. And then use a couple of our paper to make a cartography table. And now once this glass is done, we'll have everything we need to go to an underwater monument and get prismarine shards. Glass is officially done. There we go, so we'll grab that one. Now we just take the glass and the crafting table and turn it into a bunch of glass panes like so. And then we just need to grab some of our emeralds. And now we're good to go to a village to start trading. Okay, we're at the village. The sun is rising. It's about to be day 45. So let's get our cartography table and let's go find a villager who wants to trade. Yes, yes. Now we can trade this guy a bunch of paper and level him up to full. He levels up. And now we trade him a bunch of glass panes and do the same thing again. And then we can get ourselves the Ocean Explorer map, which is exactly what we needed. And now let's follow this thing till we can get to an underwater monument. But before we do that, let's grab two empty buckets and craft two additional buckets and even drain a couple extra buckets of ours. So now we can milk a cow six times and this milk will prevent us from getting mining fatigue at the underwater monument. Okay, where is it? It's somewhere out here. Let me just double check the map's generating, right? It's somewhere right in front of us. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I'm I'm coming for you, monument. Dive in. Okay, now we're gonna get mining fatigue pretty quick here. So let's just break in. Okay, we're inside. Nice. There we go. We got mining fatigue. That's okay for now. We just need to start getting prismarine shards. Which I think we can get by killing these guys. Come here, guardian. I need to kill you to test my theory. I think you dropped them, right? Prismarine shard. Yep, that's two of them right there. Okay, let's keep killing guardians then. Here's another one right here. Okay, let's go back outside and let's fight the rest out there. There we go. We're back outside. Let's get fighting. There we go, 20 prismarine shards. We got all 20. And now we are getting in our boat and getting the heck out of here. Don't leave me alone. Okay, so now that we have all the prismarine shards, and now we just have to get two saddles to finish up the moon rock flight quest. But I'm gonna let you know a secret. Saddles are not craftable. Uh, you can see over here, I'm clicking it. This would normally open up a crafting recipe, which is dumb. They're just made of leather. Why can we not craft saddles? We can't craft them. So that means we have to go find two saddles, which I really do not want to do. So uh, I've looked everywhere and can't find a saddle. So if y'all just let me know in the comments where the best place to find a saddle is that would be great because uh i don't want to waste any more time on this in future videos thanks oh i saw a spawner oh actually the chest right here chest right here please be a saddle where are all the saddles dude check this chest oh two saddles two saddles we're done that's literally both we needed we're done i can now unlock moon rock flight so while on the ground i look normal and happy but when flying i'm a moon rock now let's fly out of this cave. So this new flight ability is really cool. If you look at my energy bar, you're going to see it drops pretty quickly because I'm only a tier two rock right now. But even being able to fly around for this short bit of time is super useful. Though you're going to notice it, it doesn't let me stay super high in the air and it kind of drags me downward. And I'm guessing they're doing that because they've been trying to nerf my flying. Because in a lot of our past videos, the flying is the reason I'm so OP. So uh, they're starting to find ways to nerf it. And that makes me sad. But anyway, now that we can fly, there's only one more tier three upgrade to go. And that's becoming a boulder. And becoming a boulder is easy. I mean, just read it. We just need to get 20 blocks of redstone. Easy. 16 tinted glass. Easy. And eight arrows of slowness. Easy. So let's start with the easiest part, which is just getting some redstone. And then we'll worry about the other two after. To the mines to go get some redstone. 
Okay, we've got all the redstone we need. And now I'm out of here. See you later. Okay, so gathering that redstone took all day. I actually was hoping it wouldn't because the way we actually get the slowness arrows that we need for this quest requires us to get the item at night. And that's the slowness arrow because we can craft slowness arrows if we had dragon's breath. But we don't have that. And luckily they're actually a mob drop. Now I don't remember the name of the mob that drops them. I think it's like husk. And if I kill them at night, they drop slowness arrows. So we're gonna go kill those frost skeletons at night tonight. But before we do that, let's work on getting the 16 tinted glass we're gonna need. Now to craft tinted glass isn't actually that hard. It's just glass surrounded by four amethyst shards. So we'll gather those materials up and then we're gonna head to an ice bio. Okay, so first things first, let's break into this geode. And now each of these crystals should drop amethyst shards. So we're just gonna break some of those. Okay, I got a bunch of amethyst. Two stacks, which I'm sure is more than enough. Okay, now we just have to go get some glass, which means we have to go up here and just go gather some sand on the surface real quick. Let's go grab sand. Okay, I grabbed 16 just to be safe. So let's just split this sand up and throw it inside of our furnaces. Okay, there we go. We got our glass. So now if we combine this with some of our amethyst, like so, we should get ourselves a bunch of tinted glass. And now we have the tinted glass, which means it's time to do something very sad. It's time to say goodbye to our cute little happy rock friend. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I haven't gotten the arrows of slowness yet. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I forgot at night I have to go get arrows of slowness. Let's go see if it's nighttime. It is not. But we need to head to an ice biome anyway, so let's start flying to that ice biome now. And hopefully the sun's down by then. Okay, the, sun, the sun's gone. The moon's coming up so they should be spawning any minute in this field right here okay mobs are definitely starting to spawn i just don't see any Enemy one right there spotted. there's a stray if we kill this stray he should drop a slowness arrow yes he did he did he did we got one slowness arrow how many do we need we just need to get eight so we just need to keep farming strays in this area until we get all eight of those arrows there we go let's go get this one next Okay, there we go. We officially have eight arrows of slowness, and somehow we got the music disc stall. I'm not going to question it, but we're officially done getting the arrows of slowness, which means now we can become... I forgot. No, I have the redstone. I forgot to turn it into blocks. Okay, so let's turn that redstone into blocks real quick, and now we can become a boulder. <laughs> this is the boulder? I look like one of those statues from the Easter Islands. <laughs> you know what? He's beautiful. Let's get out of here, ugly boulder man. Okay, we're home as a new uh, giant moon rock statue thing. Actually, we don't even fit in our base, do we? Oh my god, we're too tall for our own base. Look at this. Okay, let me just start breaking through. See if we can carve out a new, like, entrance. You know what I mean? Break that one. There we go. <gasps> oh, through my base! Wait, what? Drop it, drop no, no, no. Oh, come on. They have a stupid hole. I can fly out of your hole, dummies. Um, I fly now. Hello. Ah! They have potions and lava, I guess. Oh, God. We're taking a lot of damage. Hold up. How do I? Oh, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, wait, I fit. I fit. I fit. I'm in the base. Oh, we're actually in a bad spot. Let's go in here. I'm immune to fire, so they're going to fall in if they try to get over here. Oh, I guess not. I thought they would burn from that. There we go. They're blocked in. They're blocked in. They're blocked in. Okay, ready? Nice. Two of them dead. Oh, gosh, that hurts. Only one more to go. And we can just do this. Yes! We actually won! And the base is perfectly intact, including my beautiful chickens. But the bad news is they still found my base. Oh, no, they took... <gasps> no! They took all my diamonds and all my netherite. I really don't want to keep dealing with them, so we're just going to move bases. So it's time to pack up and say goodbye to this base and say hello to the new base. Well, that trap was dumb, and it didn't even come close to killing me. I'm assuming the miners didn't realize I could fly yet, but a pitfall trap definitely won't kill me at this point. However, since our base was found, we still have to move to make sure I don't have to deal with something like that again. Okay, so after rudely being interrupted and having to leave my last base, let's talk a little bit about this boulder. So obviously I get upgrades like strength two and jump boost four, but I also get plus two blocks of reach with reach two. So yeah, that's the new boulder. And now for the new base. This new base is actually really cool. I made it nice and compact and small. So down here you have all your basic survival stuff and up here you have everything from your lava generator to your enchanter to your nether portal. Also, I'm sorry to all you viewers, but I got to point this out. When I hold shift as a rock, it really looks like he's farting. <laughs> And now that I've ruined your day with that terrible information, let's work on our next upgrade. And the next upgrade we're gonna work on is called Rock and Rollout, which should let me smash through pretty much any block in my path. And lucky for me, unlocking this really isn't that difficult. All we have to do is get the careful restoration advancement, trade with a wandering trader, you know, the ones with the llamas, and then we have to get a bunch of kills with our volcanic explosion ability. So let's get to work. Okay, so first things first, we gotta take a stick, combine it with a feather and a copper ingot to get ourselves a brush. And now we have to just go brush a bunch of suspicious stand throughout the world until we can craft a pot. And luckily for me, I know where there's a desert temple that I haven't really brushed anywhere yet. So let's make our way in here and let's see what we can find. Now we should be able to find some suspicious stand on the ground. This is one right here. You can see it has those dark textures. Now let's see if we get a pot out of this. No way, did we really? We did! We got one on the first try! Okay, let's see if there's any other suspicious sand around here. I don't see any. Okay, there's no more suspicious sand in there. So uh, I think we'll just take our luck that we got one and move on. Now let's actually head to the warm ocean that's over this way. And we'll start looting some warm ocean ruins. Because I know pottery fragments are pretty common in those. Okay, so let's just look around this warm ocean ruin real quick and 
and see if we can find any suspicious sand. In fact, there's one right here. Oh, we got a sniffer egg. I don't even need that, and I got one. Yes, here we go. We got a second one. Oh, we're getting another one. Okay, here's another one. Come on, pottery shard, pottery shard. Yes, we have four pottery shards. We're finally done with that. That only took forever. Okay, so if we take four of these pottery shards and put them in a crafting table like this, we should be able to make ourselves a decorative pot and get the careful restoration advancement. And now we can uh, just take this pot and put it anywhere as a decoration. So uh, that'll work. Oh, look how cute it is. And now we just got to trade with a wandering trader or get kills with our volcanic rock, whichever comes first. And I'll be honest with you, we're going to go find the wandering trader. I don't really feel like fighting right now. I flew around all of day 68 and I found nothing. I see a wandering trader. First things first, llamas, you got to go. Get over here. Okay, here he is. All I have to do is trade with this wandering trader. Okay, give me a flower. That works. I did it. We're done. Okay, so now that that's done with, uh, let's finish the quest up. Okay, the final thing we need to do is literally just get a bunch of kills with our volcanic explosion. So, uh, I probably should have seen this coming, but this base is completely abandoned after I kind of turned it into a volcano. Meaning, uh, I actually don't know where they live, so we gotta go look for them. So, I looked around everywhere for the miner's base, and this time, they didn't hide their base really well at all. In fact, I found it in just about 35 minutes or so. Oh, this looks like a great area to hide a base, actually. Hold up, let me check this mountain. No, that base is clear. Oh, there's another good mountain right here. Rock detection said they were over here somewhere. They're so close to me. Where are they? It could be this mountain right here. Oh my god, we're close. <gasps> oh, I saw one of them. Oh, I see a person. We found their base. Okay, we need to get kills on them. Oh, there's a bunch right here. We can get three of them. Gotta pretend we're dodging. We're dodging. We're dodging. And boom. Let's see if we get any kills with this. Come on, kill one of them. Oh, it's not getting any kills. That got us nothing. Ready, watch this. We're gonna go right here and do another one. Let's see if we can get hurt. Let's see if we can get hurt. There's another one right here. No! Oh, God. What is he doing? Oh, that's gotta get her. She's in the lava. That's She's in the lava. Yep. That is one kill on our quest. We still need to get five more. This ability's not too good at killing, it turns out. But it is good at pouring lava on people. Let's see if we can nuke this guy. Ready? Oh, what? He broke my armor. Oh, God. We need actually need new armor. It looks like they have diamond on. Yeah, they have enchanted diamond. And I can't see all of it, but trust me, they have full armor on. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Ready? Come on. Oh, we got one of them. One of them died to the fall damage on that. Oh, he's burning. He's burning. If I kill him. Oh, he put himself out. I was going to say, if I kill him while he's on fire, I wonder if that counts. Oh, no. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, it counted. It counted. It counted. Oh, I got two of them right here. I got two of them right here. Ready? That's four. We just need two more. Okay, they are getting really low. Okay, we got one coming in. Let's fight him a little bit. Let's gonna make him low. He's gonna come up, and we're gonna nuke him. Ready? Where'd he go? There he is. We can kill him after taking that damage. It should count still. No, 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 no! Let's go. That's five. In fact, we just need one more kill. Let's go in their base for this last one. So I haven't actually seen their base yet. Oh, hello, three beds. Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. Ready? And that should kill him. That should definitely kill him. No, he put a water bucket down. Let's go, that's six of six. We can unlock our combat ability, rock and roll out. Oh, if I hold it, I can just run through every block. That's nice. I can do this while flying. Their whole base is done. Ah! I'm dead, bro. He fell in that tiny hole. What are the odds of that? That's so funny. And now that base is destroyed and we can go ahead and get out of here with our new combat ability in hand. Okay, if our first tier four ability is that strong, imagine how strong Earthen Trap is gonna be. It literally says place down a cluster of exploding pebbles. And luckily unlocking it is fairly easy. All I need are three spore blossoms, one poisonous potato, and 24 gilded blackstone. Now to get gilded blackstone, we're gonna need a silk touch pickaxe, uh, which I can get right at this thing right here. I just need to go get some lapis real quick. There we go, silk touch. And now that we have an enchanted silk touch pickaxe, let's go to the nether and get some gilded blackstone. And now we just need to go find a bastion where we can get some gilded blackstone pretty easy. I see a bastion just over there and let the gilded blackstone battle begin. Okay, so let's just grab some of these gold blocks for fun. Okay, there's some gilded blackstone on located just on the outside here. So we can just kind of put a block next to each one of those like here and here and then if i mine it we got one okay there's a bunch up here let's just fight all these dudes okay here we go now we'll grab these up here see if there's any in here <gasps> what are the odds of that the thing i need and it's full of them well that's all the gilded blackstone we need now we just need some spore blossoms and a poisonous potato but we're not gonna get those in the nether so let's get out of here okay so how do we get those other two items now one of them was literally called a spore blossom and it's this weird flower thing i think that should be pretty easy to get let's just head down to one of those glowy cave biomes real quick and uh we should be good okay some Something like this should have one. Oh, literally right here. This is one right here. And if we break it with a silk touch pick, boom, we got a spore blossom. And now we just need to find two more. Here's one right here. There's the last one we need right here. And now we just need a poisonous potato. Those are easy to get, aren't they? Like for real, I believe if we just go through this village and break the crops for a potato, we're, we're just bound to get a poisonous potato at some point, I believe. It seems like all they have is wheat here. I'm not really getting anything else but wheat. Like you'll see, I have no carrots, potatoes, anything. So let's go to a plains village and see if we can find it there instead. Okay, let's check this village out and see what we can find. There should be some potatoes here. Oh, here's, here's actually a double farm right here. Okay, let's turn all of our bones into bone meal. And now we got to find a potato. 
in all, we got seven potatoes. None were poisonous, but that's okay. All we have to do to get the poisonous potato is plant the potatoes we have, bone meal them, and try again. I'm out of bone meal now, so if we don't get a poison potato from this, we're kind of in trouble. Oh my god, we got one! Which means we can already finish our earthen trap ability, our new power that lets us set up pebble bombs. I'm guessing those are the pebble bombs. Okay, let's see if we can get a villager to come walk on this or something. Let's see if these things work on mobs. Otherwise, this is pointless. It was pointless. He's totally fine. So I'm guessing this only activates if a player stands on it, meaning this was pointless. Oh, 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 we're gonna die. Let's go home and let's just go get some new armor. All right, let's take all our cobblestone real quick and let's put it in a group of four to make some more geodes. And now let's take these geodes and just chuck them at the floor and let's get a bunch of items. That's good. We didn't get as many diamonds as I wanted, but we already have diamond leggings, so that's good enough. Okay, next time I'm back in the nether, I'm getting that netherite upgrade. But at least for now, we have diamond armor. And now we are getting super strong as a rock, but not strong enough because our next upgrade, we stop being a rock for good. And we're gonna become a rock golem, just like you've seen in a million different games, TV shows, movies. And now it's time to become that. All we have to do is get 16 jack-o'-lanterns, 16 soul lanterns, and one trident. And we can get all that stuff super easy. But uh, as we can see, the sun's starting to set. So we start first thing tomorrow. Okay, so to actually make ourselves a jack-o'-lantern, we just need a pumpkin and a torch. Let's just head to a plains biome and fly around. I didn't know this, but apparently savannas also have pumpkins. I was flying over one and I saw some. So let's just grab those. Now that was a total of 15. And for the rock golem, we need 16. We are literally one pumpkin short. Let's just fly around the rest of the savanna. See if we can find any more pumpkins. Oh yeah, there's some more literally right here. Okay, one. There we go. Now we have all the pumpkins we need. Let's put our pumpkins on the ground. And now we carve them. Now let's take them back. And now we combine them with torches to get ourselves 16 jack-o'-lanterns. Meaning we've already finished the first quest in becoming a rock golem. So now let's work on getting some soul lanterns, which we can get with some soul torches and a bunch of iron nuggets. And I actually know the perfect place to go for soul torches because I left a ton of them behind earlier. So let's head back to the ancient city we looted earlier. Okay, now let's go and let's loot this ancient city. We want to look for chests that have those torches in it. Now most of these are going to be looted already. So we got to be somewhat careful of that. Okay, this is definitely going to set off a shrieker, but that's okay. Two more god apples, totally worth it. Let's check right here. Oh, a bunch of soul torches. Let's go. How many lanterns do we need? We need 16 soul lanterns, which means we need 16 soul torches, meaning we already have enough. Let's leave the ancient city. Okay, so now time for the easy part. Simply making the soul lantern. Throw the soul torches in, and we got a bunch of soul lanterns, which is the second quest complete for Rock Golem. And now there's only one item left till we become a Rock Golem, and, and that's getting a, a trident. I hate going for tridents. They're so annoyingly difficult. <laughs> I can't believe we got a trident that fast. That was so quick. Wait, what? I take back what I said. Tridents are actually pretty cool. <gasps> no, come back. Please tell me I can find that thing. Oh, it's right here. Thank goodness. I was so afraid I just lost that trident. But we got one, so I'm heading on home where it's time to become a rock golem. That's right. I am officially a rock golem. Look how big I am. I also have 30 total hearts of HP, speed three, jump four, strength three, and reach three. But the best part is I can actually fly much higher now. And now this is my new max height. I can actually fly super high up in the sky. So turning into a moon rock is starting to get broken. And funnily enough, with the golem unlocked, we actually are down to our last three upgrades. Which, since it's time for the last upgrades, that means it's time to go to the end. So let's hop in our nether portal and start gathering the materials that we're gonna need to head to a stronghold. Okay, I see a blaze spawner right down here, which is exactly what we need. We just gotta plug up this lava first. And then we start killing blazes for their blaze rods. Okay, there we go. We have eight total blaze rods, which is all we're gonna need. And now let's just take our big stone butt over to a bastion where we can trade for some ender pearls. Okay, perfect. We found one and it's a bridge, the best kind. Okay, now let's go and let's grab this gold block and this gold block. Now let's just walk through here and now let's grab all this. I didn't know two chests could spawn here. I don't think I've ever had that happen. There we go, a netherite upgrade. We actually got one. And we got an ancient debris. And we got an aqua affinity helmet, but we already can breathe underwater. So we'll just grab the gold blocks and the ancient debris. And we'll call that a day. Now let's just fly up here real quick. And let's build ourselves a trading area. Okay, here we go. We made a trading pit. Let's take all our gold blocks, turn it into gold ingots, and spit it into the pit. Okay, I just reset the gold just to make sure it wouldn't despawn. And we already have 18 ender pearls, which is way more than we need. So I I'm gonna stop them early. And I'm just gonna head out of here. And now we can start going to the end. Okay, so before we actually go to the end, let's use our netherite scraps to actually upgrade our armor into netherite. And then we take those five and put it in here along with a diamond helmet and our netherite ingots and we get ourselves a netherite helmet, a netherite chest plate, netherite leggings, netherite boots, and a netherite sword. Meaning we now have full netherite! Which means we're gonna kill this ender dragon super easily. So now let's just take our blaze rods and turn them into blaze powder and combine them with our ender pearls to get 16 eyes of ender which we'll throw off the first one, which means the end is in this direction. So uh, I'm just gonna keep flying this way till we can pinpoint where it is. Oh, it turned a little bit. Okay. So Second one thrown, turned a little bit. We're going to put the back of frames, 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 frames. Okay, let's start by destroying all of his little towers. Here's one, two, three. There we go. Okay, all towers are gone. Now we just gotta kill the dragon. Does this hurt him? Oh, it actually does a lot. Okay, we need to wait for our energy to re-roll in. <gasps> a hunter. Boom! 
Boom! Okay, the mines definitely work. We blew one up, but that hurt me too. So, uh... Oh my god! Yeah, those are broken. It just killed all of them. They're all... Wait, they're back? They have a bed set up. We gotta ignore them. We just gotta go for the dragon. Okay, let's make him glow so we can see them. I can see two of them. I don't see all three. We gotta prevent them from getting us when we get that egg to drop. So what we can do is head to where their spawn is and just place a ton of bombs around spawn. Okay, let's go on their staircase and let's put down a bunch of our bombs. So we're gonna put a bomb here. We're gonna put a bomb here. Okay, there we go. That's four bombs. That should hold them off. Now we're gonna kill them and then kill the dragon. Watch this. Die! Go! They're trying to lava me. They're trying to lava me. Oh, they got me in lava. I'm fireproof though. It doesn't work. Nice. One dead. Permore blew up. Nice. They're all dead. They're all dead. This is our chance. They're starting to blow up. They're starting to blow up. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We gotta get this egg. Okay. Eggs over here. Eggs over here. Go away. Oh, they blew up. They found another one of my bombs. That's it. That's it. Then we got it. We got it. We got it. Grab the egg. We got the dragon egg. Yes. Let's go to the outer end now. We still need some stuff from the outer end. Let's just fly over here. Throw our ender pearl in that. On day 82, I went searching for an end city, but I found one. Like fast. Like really, really fast. This narration isn't even a narration at all. Cut to gameplay. Okay. Wait. We may not even need a narration here. We may just be able to go straight into this. We already found an end city with an elytra ship. Do I even need elytra? I need shulker shells. I need caves and cliffs. I need to break chorus fruit stems. Okay, that's easy. And then for this one, I just need purple pillars, which I'm guessing I get over there anyway. So yeah, we need an ancient city, but I guess it doesn't matter what type. So we're gonna need to gather 32 of those, which uh, that should be pretty easy. I think if I break blocks like this, yeah, this is gonna make it super easy to get those. Okay, there we go. We got 38 purple pillars. That's all we need for that. Then we just need to break a bunch of these chorus fruit stems using our rock and roll out ability. So let's just use that ability again and just kind of... There we go. We've broken all the stems we need to break. And now that we're done with that, there's only one more thing in the end we gotta do. And that's get 16 shulker shells. So we gotta start fighting these shulker boxes everywhere and taking their shells. Okay, we officially have all the shulker shells we need. For some reason, I thought we needed 32, um, so I did go a little overboard. But we're done. We have everything we need from the end. And now, without further ado, let's get out of here. Okay, so now that we're officially home from the end, and now let's work to finish these upgrades. Now, starting here, the mountain golem only needs a cursed enchanted item, and we'll be done. So let's start with that. I don't think we have anything with curse of binding on it, do we? Curse of binding. There we go. We have something with curse of binding on it, which should mean we can say goodbye to our rock golem and hello to our mountain golem. Oh my god, it's so hard to see him at night. But look, he's the same thing, but he's got trees on his back and moss growing on him. Oh, and you know, I have 50 hearts of HP, strength five, jump five, speed five, reach four. You know, I'm basically invincible now. Okay, so now that we're a mountain golem that can turn into moon rocks, which also like, the moon rocks looked really cool with this golem. Cause I go from like this green thing into this white blob of moon. But with this ability, it's actually going to be super easy to get the next thing done with, which is called Caves and Cliffs. This advancement can be finished by free falling from the top of the world all the way to the bottom of the world and surviving. And since we don't take fall damage, this is actually really easy for us to do. We just have to find ourselves a cave that's already near the bottom of the world and we're going to build using that. Okay, so we're going to actually do this trick right here because there's this really deep cave that we can work with. Okay, now that we've built a hole that goes from the surface all the way down here, we just got to keep building straight down all the way to bedrock. Okay, this is the bottom of the world. I, I don't know if this is the lowest we can go, but I think this counts because it's bedrock. Okay, so now we just have to go all the way to the top of the world and j fall all the way down there to the bottom of the world. Should be pretty easy, right? Okay, let's see if this works. We got to fall all the way down to that bedrock. Here we go. Boom. Caves and cliffs. We got it. Let's go. We did it. Which now means we're almost done with our tier five upgrades. Okay, so to finish up on our upgrades, we literally just have to get three Sloanish potions, 24 crying obsidian, and eight kills on the miners, and we're done. And I'm not going to lie, I really want to see what this meteor shower ability does. So let's start by grabbing some of that crying obsidian we need, which shouldn't be too difficult. We just have to go find some at a broken nether portal. We got a few pieces here. There's one right here. There we go. We got three pieces and we need a lot more than that. You know, let's go to the nether. I think it's going to be easier to get crying obsidian there. Okay, there's a bastion I haven't looted right here. Now, I don't know if we'll get any, but we can check these chests to see if they have any crying obsidian because if they do, that would be huge. Okay, no crying obsidian in the first one, but we did get a bunch of arrows and a bunch of these glowy arrows. There we go. We got a bunch in here. It's still not enough though. We are literally one short. There should be other chests in throughout. Yeah, like this one. Oh, it does. It has four. Let's go. And now we have all the crying obsidian we need, which means there is only two more quests to go until we're fully upgraded. To unlock stonification, we just need three slowness potions. And that's going to let me get revenge on the miners and turn them into stone. And then we have the ability, the meteor shower, and we just need eight kills for that. Okay, now we just need to go through this nether fortress and find ourselves some blaze rods. And then we just need some nether warts to start making the potions. Oh, we found nether warts. They're literally down here. There we go. We got the nether warts. I don't think there's a blaze spawner at this one. I've, I've looked pretty much everywhere. Like Luckily for me, I know there's a blaze spawner literally over at this one. So we'll just go to this one and kill this blaze. Okay, so now to finish up these potions, we just gotta go back to the overworld, so let's do that. And now let's just go grab the last few ingredients we're gonna need to finish these potions up. Okay, first things first, let's grab a bunch of this sugar cane. Okay, now we just need to get a fermented spider eye, which requires some extra sugar, a spider eye, and a brown mushroom. And we can get a brown mushroom right here. So let's just fly over to this mushroom and, uh, 
Okay, there we go. We got a few brown mushrooms. Now what we need is some spider eyes. So uh, let's go find a big cave somewhere. Oh, this is a huge cave. Yeah, this is going to have spiders, right? No way this doesn't. Yeah, there we go. Spider one. I see a spider eye. We got one. Yes. Oh, I think that should be all we need. We take one of our blaze rods and we put it in with three cobblestone to get ourselves a brewing stand. Now we just got to fill a bunch of our water bottles up. And then we take one of our blaze rods and turn it into a blaze powder and add it as fuel into the brewing stand, which alongside a nether wart should turn these water bottles into awkward potions. Okay, now we're going to take these potions and turn them into speed potions by adding a sugar to the top here. And now we wait for that to finish. We're going to go into this crafting table here. And we're going to add a spider eye, one brown mushroom, and one sugar. And that's going to give us a fermented spider eye. And now we simply add the fermented spider eye and these swiftness potions are now going to become slowness potions and ta-da we got them and now we can unlock stonification a new ability we can't even use yet because it only works on the hunters like you can see i'll try it on the sheep oh it does work on the sheep i turned him to stone look at he can't move he's stuck and now there's only one more ability left to go once we get eight kills on our friends we can unlock meteor shower and become full strength and then once that's done we can use stonification to ban all three of my friends from the server forever by you know turning them into stone the miner's base was clearly hidden somewhere, but I flew around for about an hour looking for this base and it was nowhere to be found. That is, until I found a torch that kind of gave the whole thing away. Oh. A torch. I see a torch. They made a fake tree with a water elevator. If I use my plowing ability and I just hit hold shift. Yeah, we can just go down. Oh my gosh! I found their base! And they have zip lines everywhere! Okay, we gotta be super careful in here. Our goal is simple. We gotta turn them all to stone and they'll get banned. But first, I wanna see what the meteor showers do. So let's unlock that ability first by getting eight kills. Nice, one down. Look how massive his sword looks! Oh! Nice, he's gone, he's gone. That's two. Nice, we got him. That's five. No, stop following me! No! Following no! <laughs> I found their beds. They're definitely back here. Bro, he's bullying me, dude. He's bullying me. Why you bully me? Nice, we got him. He's dead. We just need one more kill. And then we can start turning him to stone. Nice, we got him. That's all the kills we need. Let's unlock our new ability, Meteor Shower. Okay, now if we take our laser pointer and we aim it right in the middle down there, I think that should drop... <gasps> I'm coming up there and giving you a piece of my mind, golem. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It just nuked the whole base! Are they still alive down here? Oh, they are. Hold on, can we drop another one? Oh my gosh! Ah! It's time to start turning them into stone. And the best part is their stone statues will keep attacking each other. There's one right there. We got him. Die, Golem! I got one tap! He's stoned, and now he's banned. And now this stone statue is gonna start attacking anyone nearby. And now we just gotta wait for the stone to cool down. So in the meantime, um, bye, Goldie. Okay, I think that cooldown's gone. Goldie, you're turning to stone. Gone! See you later! No! Are you ready? Watch. Whack him once. Come on! Yes! Dude, why am I getting bullied, bro? What is this? We got him. They're all stone. On day one, they murdered all my stone friends. And now look at them. They're made of stone. Though technically speaking, there is still some days left before day 100. But with them banned, there's no way I lose at this point. Which means I survived 100 days as a rock. Thanks for watching.